That little groove slots into the keystone box beam to hold it securely in place. A trial fit on both sides and then if it's right, no adjustments to be made, that can be used as the template to cut the rest of the rafters. If you learn one thing from Robin Clever, it's that in this game, a millimetre matters. Robin on tiptoes, you know he could have been a ballet dancer. He likes to cut all the timbers on the ground and bring them up ready cut to assemble. Robin has two saws, one at each end, saves him walking up and down the rafters. Not such a problem on this, but when you've got a six metre rafter run, it saves you a few steps. Now that looks like the easy bit done, but it had to match in with the existing roof so that the tiles could run through in one straight line. So what this is, oh, I'll take the hood off, that's better, I can, I can hear again. So what this is, is a template of the bird's mouth. The bird's mouth is a term we use for that cut. And basically, it's what sits the roof onto the building. If you were like that, without a bird's mouth, it's not good, it's just one going to fall off. It's just going to, you know, off. So this is just tradition. In America, a bird's beak. But we call it a bird's mouth. So because of the fact the plate goes on, it's bedded on, the brickwork, it all gets straightened up. You'll find that the brickwork sometimes is not flush to the back of the plate. So by cutting the template, I can hand it over to my assistant. I can mark it out and he can go around and make sure he can just clean out wherever it needs cleaning out with a little angle grinder, nice and gently. And that will be perfect then. And clean out the brickwork. Yeah, so he's just gonna notch out where any brickwork is sort of proud. Some places it isn't. Or if you've got insulation, for example, we need to just take the insulation out. So we're just about to do this small roof. It's a hipped end um, and, the, and the ceiling is going to go up. So it's not sitting on the wall plate. So that means we have to pitch the roof first and then put the ceiling joists in afterwards. So a couple of precautions. First of all, you've got to secure the plates well. Now, as we've only got short walls, the plates have been fixed down into the block work. If they were any longer, you wouldn't, need to, wouldn't be able to do that because as soon as you put the rafters on there, you want to push the walls apart. So it's really dangerous. So what you do then, is you put temporary ceiling joists across to hold the walls and the wall plates. So we haven't got to worry about that too much because this span is only just over four and a half meters. So the rafters are only covering a run of about 2.2 meters. So what we're gonna do is we, we split this end, which is where the hip is, in two. So there's the center. For our first pair of common rafters, which go on the other sides to form the sides, it's the same distance back from the corner. If you can imagine, we're forming half a pyramid here, so it's all got to be equal. So we mark the centre there, we've taken those marks down the flanks, and we're ready now to position the rafters, which have all been worked out for this roof, which is 33 and a half degrees, precisely. So, over the years. Right, Robin gonna... loves pitching roofs. He makes a good living out of tackling the kind of jobs that a lot of chippies run a mile from. Now this roof didn't quite fall into that category, but it had its challenges. The existing roof was built from 3 by 2 timbers, so the height above the plate was the square root of stuff all. Hence that big bird's mouth, which obviously weakens the rafter end, but we doubled up the rafter ends to support that first row of tiles and the fascia. There's always a way round it. So here, thanks to the drone shot, you get a better idea of the project and what it's going to look like. Stephen. Yes. Film me doing some work. Nobody believes I'm doing it. So I'm doing it. My laser's going there. How is it, mate? Robin sets up a little table for his laser. Doesn't he know that you can just put a screw in and hang it up? Anybody think this guy just loves cutting wood? 
Look at the angle of that with a circular saw, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> Now, 30 years ago, I imagined that when I got to the age I am now, I'd be retired, having made my fortune. But here I am, working harder than ever. And it's not the money, it's just that I've seen what retirement does to people. It's an unnatural state. Man was designed to work and work till he dropped. Now, my dad, he worked until he was 85, and he died just before he was 90. So there's proof positive that retirement kills people. Now drop it and let go, mind your hand. Now give it a little tap downwards until I say when. Harder, harder, harder. That's good. Very nice. Obviously, it's different set of cuts to the rafters because it's running at a different angle because it's longer. Yeah. Obvious to you, Robin, but there are people watching this who think that what you're doing here is some kind of voodoo. That's perfect, Jay, yeah? yeah. Robin tries to get Jago to feel what he feels. The passion, the thrill. But you can tell that Jago's head isn't there. In years to come, he may kick himself for not taking note. But he's 21, and at 21 years old, there's only one thing on a young man's mind. That Hitachi framing nailer is awesome. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. When you see this connection here, the two hips, the end commons, the crown and the ridge. And so, bad light stops play, but we will return another day to see Robin complete the roof. And if you don't want to miss it, become a subscriber, press that bell in the top right hand corner and you'll be automatically notified of all the new videos coming up on Skill Builder. Keep the comments coming, good and bad, we love those comments. It's like bread and water to us, we love the comments.